Hello my friends and subscribers, my name is Alexander Stepanov. Please take a look, these are clubbed nails. Uh, it's not very serious problem, but there are some complex people have uh, when they when uh, when they try to struggle struggle with such shape of nails of natural nails and right now I will be fixing them and transform this shape of natural nail uh, to the thing and um, beautiful shape of the nail uh, so I asked my client uh, what nail shape would she like to to make and at uh, firstly she asked me to apply um, almond shaped nails and after I persuaded her to do other shape of nails um, and I suggested, I strongly suggested you, uh, her to make um, square shape of the nails because if we apply this shape of nails uh, especially with arch type of this nail shape um, this way we can make them thinner make them look looking thinner and graceful so now you can see the full tutorial of making this shape of nail and as you can see at first we 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 have prepared the nail plate for nail extension and as you can see I already placed nail forms on fingers and right now I'm working with my favorite sculpting gel brush and I'm applying the length of the nail using sculpting mix gel. Uh, you know guys, using this way uh, of doing nails you can so solve some problems with uh, um, wide nails and uh, not flat nail plates and no matter uh, what people say about nail extensions, it really works with uh, problem nails. White nails, uh, nails, uh, club nails, especially in this way. And at first, as you can see, uh, when I'm applying uh, rows, rows of uh, sculpting mix gel, they seem a little bit wider but uh, we should um, we should file them and shape after sculpting and this will help us to make them elegant graceful and thin so right now we can just uh, sculpt sculpt them and protect uh, this way we will protect them from breaking so now you see me uh, working with uh, carbide drill bead. This one is available uh, in my shop. You can watch the price under the video. This uh, this uh, product is the most popular. Um, I already bought about uh, two hundreds of these drill bits, and uh, customers are very happy using these drill bits because. I have never, never used uh, drill bits better than this. Okay, and I just tried to make the shot of doing nails from different positions uh, to make uh, just just for for showing you how I am um, keeping my file. Um, and as you can see, I'm uh, shaping nails like the tube I'm, I'm trying to uh, to round each side of the nail and it seems like uh, it seems like uh, some uh, like the tube but we, we will will have to file 
file these nails from underneath to create the finish effect. So at first, after file a uh, shaping nails, I am filing them in the cuticles area with a uh, cone drill bit. And after that, uh, we are removing uh, the gel from underneath of the nail. So it's necessary for create uh, the uh, the arch for these nails. Um, okay, some uh, subscribe. Some of my subscribers told me uh, that we can create the arch without filing nails from underneath. Uh, we can use the special um, special things and tubes when we uh, placing uh, forms, and we can create the arch this way. You know, guys, I uh, I'm agree with you, but I think that this technique is better for creating acrylic nails when you when we when you can push the product when with your fingers until it dry already. Uh, but when we are using the gel, it's not okay to push the product uh, while it's um, uh, um, curing because it causes uh, breaking in um, in keeping on nails in day-to-day -day life. So we we just need only use uh, Kirby uh, drill bits for uh, filing nails and the file. And now uh, I just want to show you uh, the new nail technique for creating the ideal um, French manicure. Uh, we can we can use gel paint of the brand Cappuccini with the tacky layer. You know, guys, there are two types of uh, gel paint. Uh, the first, <laughs> the first type um, has tacky layer. The second one has no tacky layer. And uh, with, especially with this, uh, with this gel paint, we can create the ideal smile line uh, for the French manicure. Maybe professionals will understand me. What does it mean, the ideal smile line? Um, in order to do that, um, we, we we should cover nails with the top coat, which have tacky, which has tacky layer, and after curing in one minute, right on the top of dispersion layer, we're drawing the thin line of French manicure and after using thin brush or flat brush my hand handmade brush uh, we can create uh, we can cover the length of, of the nail with this uh, with this gel paint so I also decided to uh, cover the length, the length or uh, the free edge with um, my favorite um, pearl pearl gel paint for creating shining effect. Uh, you know, at the end of the video, I will show you how how to uh, create uh, special brushes for covering nails with top coat by yourself. It will be my life hack hack and uh, it will help you to create something new for your business <laughs> and for your uh, favorite work okay guys and after that we can also draw some details some deco elements using the same gel paint in thin brush number zero zero okay and we just should apply it very quickly because uh, the gel paint uh, is going to flow across the nail uh, and we cure it in a new lamp and after that at the end uh, we are covering nail with top coat which has tacky layer 
it's necessary for the best quality of uh, the coat. At first we we're applying a thin layer on the whole nail and after I'm uh, putting the drop on the top of the nail I'm trying to flatten the surface using only the tip of my handmade brush and after you should make sure that uh, the surface is flat and cure it in, in UV lamp after one minute so let's watch the result I think these nails now are looking thin and beautiful um, and especially for uh, comparing result before and after and uh, and to see the how I transformed nails um, I made the shot of nails that we had before uh, nail extension you see that the nail plate is very wide and now they look fantastic very graceful amazing beautiful you know guys the French manicure is doing miracles with nails and this nail design will be always popular let's watch my life hack hello guys let's experiment with making handmade brushes as you can see I'm using uh, the brush from the um, gel primer I have removed it from the jar like you see and I'm cutting them with simple scissors so I cut this and I just uh, cutting off um, the upper side from my uh, from the old one stroke brush and now you can see I just combined together two parts one part from the gel polish jar bottle and the other part from my one stroke brush um, the part of my stroke brush so I combine them and stick them together um, maybe uh, professional nail technicians will understand you because the soft brush is very important when you cover nails with top coat and there are no brushes in any online shops which uh, which allow, allow us to uh, apply these coats so I forced to do uh, do this brush um, by my hands by myself and as you can see it looks <laughs> not so good but it it works perfectly and in my videos you can see my work with this brush you can use uh, any other tools for making that and now um, I decided to create the new one brush that I will be using for uh, covering the length of the nail with uh, French manicure so I, I decided to work with barrel drill bit and I'm filing uh, the upper side of my brush I just want to make the hole and in this place I will um, I will I will uh, put the tip of my um, um, gel polish brush right right on this place like you can see on the video you know uh, some people say that Russian people are <laughs> um, good in inventations <laughs> uh, maybe that's true <laughs> uh, there are a lot of inventors in Russia <laughs> who who invented some um, useful fi things that we we use in day-to-day -day life so as you can see I, I make this brush with the same way and in my next videos I will show I will show you how it works 
I think it will be working perfectly because uh, the hair is very soft and it will help me to apply um, the coat of gel paint perfectly.